this says create a box and whisper plot for this data. Now, there's many different ways to do this in terms of putting in the calculator, not putting in the calculator, but every single time I need the five number summary. Okay, that's going to come from the calculator. That means I have to put this data into the stat menu so that I can get the five numbers from it. So stat, I'm going to hit edit, and then I'm going to clear out both of these lists. Now I'll talk about something super important when we get to um, this actually doing this. So there's a lot of numbers here, so I'm going to be really careful. So two, three, three, one, six, six. And I'm going to draw like little lines here while I get to see the stats. So five, two, four, four, one, one, five, six. So you gotta find a way you can cross them off each time. Um, it's hard doing that with the calculator. Um, I'll just do this one, three, four, three, four, two, two, three, five. Right there, I'm down the first row. One, one, six, four. Whoops, Let's see, there we go. Four, two, two, three, one, four, four, five. And there's no like rhyme or reason that I'm drawing these numbers. It's kind of like going on. Do I make one, six, six, three, two, two, one, one, four, five? Now that shows me that I have 40. It says 40. Okay, and I can check that when I do the one variable stats. All right, so now stat, calculate one variable stats. Now this is where we're going to have to pay attention in this unit. There is no frequency list in this. There was a frequency list in the last thing they were doing in 401 when I was making those videos. I have to clear out the frequency list. Otherwise, it's going to give me an error because there is no frequency list. The worst case scenario is you have an old frequency list in there and it uses that and you never know. Um, so if you get an error, more than likely there's not supposed to be a frequency list. Um, and they're, it's looking for one or there's one of it that doesn't match up. So make sure that we're really careful with the frequency list stuff in this whole unit. So it gives me that. So what I'm going to do is I need the five number summary. So I'm going to scroll down because that has Q1, median, and all the stuff on it. I just need the bottom one of these. So hopefully that drags you back to there someplace. So there it is. All right. So the five number summary is, and I'm going to write this down. Well, you know what? I don't need to write it down. There it is right there. I'll put a box around it. You know, if it asks me what they are, I'm going to write them down. But this didn't really ask me what they are. I just said draw a box and whisker. Now, a box and whisker, they're weird based on how they do it. Typically, a box and whisker just leaves a number line underneath it. All right, so a number line. And a lot of times, they'll give you the number line. The number line has to have the numbers that you're going to need. So I have one through six on my, as my choice is on there. Min is one, max is six. That's all that needs to be on there. So I'm going to put a one, and then two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I can number each one or whatever I want to do. Uh, I'll, I'll number each one because we'll have some examples where I show you, you know, going by five and I'll talk about what I did. Now, the box and whisker should be above this. All right, so here's what I do when I do that. I put lines at each one of the five numbers. All right, so I put a line at one, a line at two, a line at three, a line at five, and a line at six. The middle three numbers get made into the box, and then the last two get connected because of those are the whiskers. All right, I'm going to highlight things this time. So the minimum is that. Quartile two is that. Sorry, quartile one. Median, which is the second quartile, really, is that. There's quartile three. Let me grab a quartile for a second. And then there's the maximum. All right, so there's where those lines are. The box is here. This is the inner quartile range right here. Now, it didn't ask for that. I'm going to find it anyways because we're going to have to be able to find this on a lot of different problems. So the inner quartile range is Q3 minus Q1, which is 5 minus 2, which is 3. Okay, so that's what we've got going on there. Now, if I want to find the outliers, and again, that's not involved in this problem, but I'm going to do it anyways because the rest of them do it. So outliers, I need to take the inner quartile range and multiply it by 1.5. And basically what that's doing is that's telling me the allowance I'll give for numbers that make sense within my data. Then I take the lower quartile, all right, Q1, and I put 2, and then I subtract the 4.5 from it. So that means negative 2.5. 
So anything under negative 2.5 is an outlier. All right, so I'm going to put down anything under this is an outlier. And likewise, I'm going to take the upper quartile, which is 5. I'm going to add 4.5. It's going to give me 9.5. And I'm going to say anything over this is an outlier. Now, the big thing you have to understand is this number changes based on whatever data you have. It's not always going to be 4.5. Um, it's going to change based on the data you have. Also, data like this, rolling a die, um, it's almost going to be impossible that you get outliers because each thing has an equal chance of happening in terms of probability that we'll talk about later. Um, it's going to be very unlikely. The only way it could really even happen is if I got like, you know, a three every single roll, all 40 rolls, because then my inner quartile range would be zero. So then anything other than a three um, would be uh, an outlier, but I only got three. So there's just nothing realistic in a situation like this where there's actually going to be outliers. The last thing is these should all have titles on them. They're statistical representations. So you should put a title on all of these. So I'm gonna say um, numbers rolled on a die. The title doesn't matter as long as it has something to do with what the data actually says. So make sure that you put a title on all of these. It's it's just a picky little thing that you lose points for sometimes. A lot of times the title's already on there and I do, which is nice.